One of the cool things about the Hachi Infinite is that it works on the Android operating system. That means anyone can access that operating system and create apps specifically designed for Hachi Infinite. Hi, this is Patrick from Tech The Lead, and we are currently here at the Hachi booth at CES 2020. So why are we here? Well, as you can see, we have a really interesting projector on this kitchen surface. This is Hachi Infinite, their second generation projector system. What's unique about this system, and what's like pretty amazing, is that it turns any flat surface into a multi-touch screen. Now, what does that even mean? Well, that means that you can use the Hachi Infinite not just as a movie projector to watch movies for, but you can also use it to access certain apps that can help you with your daily life. The use cases for the Hachi Infinite are pretty large and expansive. Here we have a kitchen use case where you can scan items and get new recipes for anything you're working on, use it as an online cookbook, but it also has certain other use cases like education or just game playing. One of the things that Hachi is really pushing is that this screen can go up to 120 inches and has 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second capable, which means you can use this for gaming, for watching movies, and it's extremely portable. It has this small form factor and you can pick it up and move it anywhere for two to three hours of battery life. One of the cool things about the Hachi Infinite is that it works on the Android operating system. That means anyone can access that operating system and create apps specifically designed for Hachi Infinite. Currently at the booth, they are showcasing a kitchen app, the games that are available on Hachi Infinite, an educational app, and a fitness app as well. Because app creators can create whatever they want for Hachi Infinite on the Android operating system, the possibilities for this system are endless. You could even say they're infinite. So how much will the Hachi Infinite cost? Well, it's gonna come out to $999.99 and will be available for purchase in March. The reason why you'd wanna purchase a Hachi Infinite is because it's so flexible in what it can do. The use cases, again, are endless based on the apps that are created for it. Currently, the use cases Hachi sees for this expand beyond just the kitchen, just an educational tool. They see it being a business tool as well, something that you could present with something that you could do video conference with and really take it from room to room. So another use case for the Hachi Infinite that they see is right here at home. I can put and set up the Hachi Infinite and allow the projection to come out vertically for a 120 inch TV at 1080p. There are almost no screens out there that even go up to 120 inches. And the fact that this projector can do 120 at 1080p is pretty incredible. If I plug in my Xbox, my PS4, my Nintendo Switch, I could turn it into a gaming projector as well with its 60 frames per second refresh rate. Any game from shooter to your platformer is perfect with the Hachi Infinite. So because Hachi Infinite's multi-touch sensor is based off of deep learning, it also has other pretty cool applications. For instance, it can become your fitness tool where on the screen, it shows someone doing an exercise and it can track how well you're matching the movements or the exercise itself. So Hachi's projection has 10 point any touch, which means you can use 10 different fingers to operate the Hachi Infinite. And what's great about this too, is that it has almost no latency. It works almost the same as when you play on your iPad, iPhone, Android device. So one of the great things about Hachi Infinite is that it can be used on really any flat surface. So we saw a lot of white surfaces being used, but it can work on wood, it can work on marble, it can work on a kitchen table. It can work right here, it can work over there on that black wall, and it works perfectly. Color doesn't matter, grain of wood doesn't matter, as long as it's a flat surface, Hachi Infinite works. Just so you know, you can technically use it on something like a carpet, but there will be some issues with touch detection. That is why they say any flat, hard surface. If you like what you see here, Make sure to hit the subscribe and bell button to get notifications from all the great content coming from Tech the Lead.
Bye.